Jamie Novak here, your Bite Size Living Specialist. And today, we're going to be answering three viewer questions. These are some of the most frequently asked questions, and I love for you to send them in. And I especially love to answer them in this way because I promise you, you're not the only one wondering the answer. So our first question comes to us from Janine. And Janine is wondering about her makeup drawer, more specifically, her lip glosses. She seems to love lip glosses almost as much as I do. And the answer to organizing um, in your makeup drawer and in your junk drawer and a variety of other areas is like with like. So what we have here is a clear zip top baggie, my favorite for organizing. You can see what's inside. They're fairly inexpensive. And so this way you can put all of your neutrals together, all your pinks together, all your daytime colors, all your winter colors. And at a glance you can see what you've got. They're great for just tossing into your tote bag and keeping your drawer organized. So you can have your lip glosses in one and other types of makeup in another. And at a glance, you can see what you've got and use them, which is, after all, the point. So, I love that question. Thank you, Janine. And our next question comes to us from Georgia. And Georgia, like most of us, receives one too many catalogs. It appears that maybe she requested one, is that right? Requested one catalog and then Somehow, you know, that information got passed along, probably sold, but who's saying? And so now all the catalog companies are sending Georgia their catalogs because after all, if she liked from company A, she's going to love from company B, C, D, E, and all the way down the line. So it used to be a full-time job, Georgia, really, to go to each and every catalog, dial the 800 number, give them the code off the catalog, hope that they processed it and took you out of the database, but no more. This is truly a two-minute task and something you'll probably want to do immediately. So sit down at your computer and log on to Catalog Choice. That's Catalog Choice as in choosing which catalogs you'd like to receive or not receive in this case. So you're going to register and I know what you're thinking, are they going to sell my name again? Absolutely not. They are Better Business Bureau rated. They're an accredited company. They're trying to save trees just like us and time and energy and all that great stuff. So what we're going to go ahead and do is log on. You're going to register. It's free, so no worries there. And then you'll be taken to a database of all the catalogs that are printed. Check off the ones that you get that you no longer wish to receive, and on your behalf, they will have you removed. So it's a wonderful way to go, and so, so simple. Catalog choice is uh, the way to go, Georgia, on that. And so our third and final uh, viewer question today is um, about bread tabs. Bread tabs, you say? Yes, bread tabs, I say. These are the little plastic tabs that come on bags of potatoes and bagels and bread. and You know, they're just little and plastic, and you think, recyclable, not, I don't know, what can I do with it? Maybe you're tossing them in your kitchen drawer, and so now here's a great way to utilize them. Because you know, I love to take everyday items and find a way to organize with them. So, I love this little tip. You know all those um, keys that you have lying around your house and you're wondering, um, what does this key go to? Well, now you're going to know because you simply clip the bread tab onto the key and using the back side of the tab that's completely empty and ready for you to write on, you could label this, assuming you know what the key goes to. I happen to know that this one belongs to the shed, so I can simply write shed on the back of the label, and now when I toss this, probably into, um, well, did you know what I was going to say? A zip top baggie. You put that into a zip top bag, throw it in your junk drawer, and now you're going to know what key goes to what. So good luck identifying your keys and reusing all of those bread tabs. I've got a great list of other ways to utilize those bread tabs. That happens to be one of my favorites, but you can find it all at jamienovac.com. Well, thank you for sending in your questions, and I can't wait to read the next batch, so keep them coming, and in the meantime, have a bite-sized day. Take care, everyone.